I'm joined by Nusrat Ghani MP, Transport Minister and Minister for the Year of Engineering and David Lakin, Head of Education at the IET. Very warm welcome. Thank you both very much for coming in. Uh, Nusrat, let's start uh, with you, if you don't mind. What are the key objectives then behind the Year of Engineering? Well, the top two objectives are firstly to share the joys of the world of engineering and the second is to promote it as a fantastic career. We've got quite an ambitious industrial strategy at government and within my own Department for Transport, we are quite ambitious on road building, railway, ports and airports, all of that is going to require engineers. And that requires looking to the younger generation into schools to see what they should and could be doing better. Yes, absolutely. And uh, it's, a, it's a bigger problem than that as well, that uh, overall uh, there's over 200,000 people required with STEM skills, um, of which we have a shortfall of around 59,000 each year. So yes, the, the, there is a, a, an issue there and uh, we, we have to address that starting with them at a, a very young age. Um, we, we want to support teachers, we want to provide activities and projects and programmes to inspire young people, uh, lots of career guidance and career information. To, to help them make their decisions, um, but also looking outside of the classroom, also looking at parents to help inspire and encourage their, their children to consider STEM and engineering as a, as a career option for them. It's such an extraordinary industry. There are so many opportunities. There is this kind of misconception it's just about hard hats and building sites, but it really isn't, isn't it? It's not, but sadly the stereotype does still exist. Uh, when we asked a, a group of young people what they thought uh, an engineer was, uh, sadly the, the image of a, a white male, middle-aged, wearing a hard hat and blue overalls uh, is what, what came out. Uh, and similar with parents as well, when, when we asked the parents. So we have a job to change that perception to show that engineers is, is everything around us. The young people only need to look around them to be inspired, everything from their mobile phones to the, the clothes that they're wearing uh, and, and their shoes on their feet. Um, so they have a real opportunity to, to change the world that they live in uh, by studying STEM subjects and going on to study engineering. David's absolutely right, isn't he, in this rat? I mean, the engineering touches every aspect of our lives, but he's also very right in saying the stereotype is white, male what can we do about that um, you're right it is predominantly white it is predominantly male and as you mentioned earlier on everything that we own and we love to own has an element of engineering or design involved so we need to make sure that the customers and um, the people that are using everything are involved in the design element too so we are working with over 1400 firms i believe fantastic firms that already have a solid reputation uh, amongst children and their parents lego for example the uk space agency and we're reaching out to them and showing them the kind of jobs that they could have and i think that's absolutely key getting to them early getting to their parents early too and I think what people fail to remember is that engineering is a really good career and it pays really well so if you want to be involved in everything that you own the design of it or your street or your community think about engineering and a STEM subject because you're going to do very well in it so great progress has been made already through the year of engineering but where do you go from here well, the Year of Engineering has meant collaboration with over 1,400 businesses and companies have opened up their doors to allow a million interactions to take place. So we're hoping that will translate into young people and their parents considering careers in, in engineering, whether it's an apprenticeship or going straight into a job or studying it at university. And we've had, we have seen an increase in STEM subjects being studied at GCSE and, and A-level. But I think what's, what's really important is to make sure that young people understand that it's a very diverse career and it's also a very well-paid career and you'll be involved in designing not only your community but helping our country go forward too. And David it's all about transmitting that opportunity and the experience that you could have. Yeah absolutely we, we have seen an increase uh, in the number of students studying STEM subjects. Uh, we've seen a small increase in the number of uh, girls studying um, STEM subjects and going on to engineering but it's not enough we're, we're not there yet a lot of more work needs to be done uh, and it's about providing that information that, that good career mm -hmm. information and guidance to not only the students but to teachers and to parents to highlight all the different routes into engineering. Uh, I myself was uh, an apprentice so I fully support that route but of course things like work experience is really really important mm -hmm. for industry to support schools and provide work experience uh, and, and highlight all the different routes into engineering so they can benefit from a fantastic career. Well we look forward to following your progress thank you both very much indeed for your time today thank, thank you. you.